Today, I'm about to do something that has never been done before. I will be defending my master's thesis from underwater live to a global audience. My name is Mike Irvin, and I've got a lot riding on this. The reason why I want to defend my thesis from underwater is that the act of doing it is actually the physical representation of the research itself. So my thesis is actually about underwater web cameras as tools to initiate, motivate and engage students in marine science topics. So simply by allowing students and, and people to be able to see these marine environments, I wanted to really look at what is happening at that moment right when they see it. I, I'm just trying to stay focused. There's so much to do and, and so much to, to uh, be working on, especially in pulling this off, that I haven't even had really a moment to let this all settle in. Now you can actually see here and talk to your diver. Now imagine that in a classroom, that while I'm underwater, you, yes you, from somewhere else in the world, we are here right now together talking about this. The first part is uh, an underwater web camera. Um, we tether that up to the surface to a computer. Uh, then we also have the audio comms and systems that we use, so full face intercom masks. Uh, we use these masks to communicate from underwater to surface. Uh, that is housed in a, in a control box. That box then relays that information to a computer and then it goes up online. And then from the online side, we bring um, people from the video conference end, which is what we're doing today, which is why this is awesome. Um, from the video conference side, we have people being able to communicate with us. And so when they talk, it comes out the speaker and we wired it from the speaker on the computer into the comm box, matching the frequencies to then go down to the diver so that I can hear you. There are a lot of things that can actually go wrong. Uh, especially with all the different um, points in the technology for the audio and the visual component. And especially also with uh, us being, uh, you know, using a mobile network, the mobile network could actually fail, we could run out of battery power, there's a lot of different uh, variables there. But the, the main variable that we can't control is Mother Nature. And Mother Nature is definitely uh, something that can control a situation and prevent us from doing our live dives and our events. My one advisor is going to be here on, on the dock with me. I'm going to have a, another advisor that's going to be in another province uh, from their university. Um, and then there's also the, the University of Victoria here on Vancouver Island. There will be people that are actually going to be um, in a video conference room that will be tuning into this as well. And then uh, the webcast side, well, that's everybody else out there. So The significance of this dive is a lot of things. It's a starting point as we lead into the future because there's so many more things that are going to be coming, especially from other live dives. There's a lot of new tech and a lot of things that we're going to be bringing out that are going to definitely surprise, I think, a lot of people. We've done extensive research looking around, trying to find if anybody's even done something close to this. And there hasn't been a single thing that we've seen to this point. It's not so much about the technology, it's how you use the technology that is fundamental to a live dive. So it's all about that narrative, it's all about uh, allowing for that exploration and that discovery. It's all about encouraging and engaging uh, people all over the world to be inspired to dig into the ocean, to, to look around and see what's actually down there, to go back to being kids again, to, to be a big kid and not be afraid of it. I'm probably under a lot of pressure doing this, but uh, no risk, no reward. So let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, I want to begin by um, thanking everyone who's joining us in for uh, this historic moment. Mike, um, how are you doing under the water there? Are you... Hi everyone, my name is Mike Irvin. I'm a graduate student in the Faculty of Education, Curriculum and Instruction at the University of Victoria. 